Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to Fawal Next Walkthrough Videos. Today we are going to look at how to create a signing certificate template, code signing certificate template. So you can create any kind of code signing, uh, any kind of certification template, but today for this uh, tutorial purpose what i'm going to use is i'm going to create a code signing certificate template so to do that you need to go to ca you need to come to certificate templates and you need to click on manage you can take any of these the code signing is already available over here also but just for the sake of uh, showing you how it works I just would duplicate this and I would name it I'll keep this compatibility at default level I'll name this as uh, maybe uh, test or demo code signing and the validity of this I would change maybe to three years. Request handling, encryption, allow private key to be exported, cryptography, which one I would like to use. I probably would like to use this one. Uh, this is for SHA2 by the way. RSA and AES, AES cryptographic provider key attestation I'm not going to change anything S extensions I would need to change this from here because I need it for code signing so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use code signing one All right and then I am going to come to security and I would allow authenticated user or maybe specific user who can request this certificate. So maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow my domain admins or administrators to do it. But for now, I'm going to keep it as default. But if you feel you would not like to allow somebody to use this, so you need to add him over here and give him permission for enrollment. I'm going to save this now and see my demo code signing certificate template is created. So if I want to generate a certificate now, or I would like to request a code signing certificate using this template, I would need to go here. Um, MMC, I'm going to come over here. Right. I'll come over here and I'm going to request a new certificate. Let me check what I have done over here. Ah, sorry. I forgot to do one thing. Once code signing certificate is created, template is created, I need to add it over here, which I mistakenly didn't. So now my code signing certificate is over here. So let's go to this. Right. So I have code signing certificate over here. I can enroll. And that's it. See now I have my code signing template over here, uh, certificate over here, I can 
export it using private key or without private key up to me. Thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos. Please comment, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products I am talking about.